hello everyone welcome to this smart life today i have the redmi ax5 wi-fi 6 router from xiaomi and in today's video i'll be doing an unboxing of this device and uh, do a full setup and also review the product doing a speed test and a brief comparison between the xiaomi ax 1800 router that i have here I have already reviewed the AX1800 in my previous video. You can check my video. Coming to this device, the box itself is very big because it has four external antennas, as you can see. And uh, coming to the specifications, it is almost similar to the AX1800. It is very similar in every aspect. And it also has the Qualcomm 5-core processor, that is a quad-core processor plus one NPU. The supported speed is 1775 Mbps and it also has the four independent signal amplifiers. And another uh, good thing about this router is that it will support the mesh networking system with the AX3600 and the Xiaomi AX1800. Uh, but I'm not sure whether the current firmware that is installed in this uh, device is capable of mesh networking that I have to check after setting it up. And coming to the specifications, as I said before, it is very similar to the AX1800. It has the OFDMA technology for multiple transfer of packets at the same time. So simultaneous packets transfer, it has the 256 MB RAM and the 1775 Mbps speed and four single amplifiers. And this is a very new device. It is uh, manufactured in this month, that is June 2020, and uh, it supports the AX uh, protocol. And you can set it up using the Mi Wi-Fi app and it also works with the Mi Home app. So let's unbox it and see what is there inside. It's currently sealed comes like this nothing is there inside okay so it comes with the power brick it is 12 volts 1 amp so that is around 12 watts it doesn't consume that much of power similar to the x1800 and and this is the router the form factor is very different from the ax1800 uh, as you can see so this is the form factor of the redmi ax5 and this is the ax1800 and this has a tower structure. I think uh, this will have the uh, more efficient cooling because of the tower structure. And this one also has a lot of uh, ventilation, as you can see. For me, I have been using this for the past one month and uh, I have not felt any hot surfaces here. So it, it has a very efficient cooling mechanism. Let's see with the Redmi AX5, how is the performance in cooling? So these are the default Wi-Fi names. 5G is a Redmi 298B and uh, 2.4 GHz is this is the default Wi-Fi. So that's it. Coming to the user's manual, let's see. Okay, it's nothing much. Just plug in the power, plug in the LAN cable to the WAN port and that's it. So it has uh, four Ethernet ports. One is the WAN port and the three Ethernet ports here. And all of them are gigabit. Okay, let's keep the others aside. Okay, in the unboxing, the only difference that I can see between the AX1800 uh, and the Redmi AX5 is that Redmi AX1800 comes with the LAN cable, the a gigabit LAN cable of around one meter long, but they don't provide the LAN cable with the Redmi AX5. I think that is the only difference that I can see as per the specs and the accessories that comes with the Redmi or the Xiaomi routers. Okay, let's set it up. I'll power it on. So it has two indicators. One is the system indicator, the power indicator, and the internet indicator. So let's connect the ethernet to the WAN port here. Okay, now it is connected. So let's try to set it up. So I think before setting up, you have to connect to this Wi-Fi. Okay, let's connect to the 5G Wi-Fi. And now let's go to the router here. So as you can see, it has now found the router here so we can set it up now so now it has already detected the internet and there are other more options like uh, if you have a dial-up then you can enter the uh, account and password here and and other options are like let's see more options and you can also set it up as a wireless or repeater mode or the wired repeater mode and so on and for now let's set it up as a base station connect and uh, let's type a password okay this is the setup and as you can see now it is connected and you can see that the indicator here has turned blue that means the internet is present and you can now use it as you can see that now the setup is complete let's check the wi-fi signal here so it is the wi-fi 6 signal if you see so this is the wi-fi 6 router let's check what are the other options that is available so wi-fi settings so it has wi-fi and 
I think you should enable this one because it is in a, uh, this option is to enable the Moomimo technology for better speed and other things. Okay, now that is turned on and uh, you can change the Wi-Fi uh, name and the password here for the both 2.4 and the uh, 5 gigahertz. And you can also set the modes here and uh, in the mode you can actually switch modes and you can also enter a static IP address and it can also be set up as a wireless or wired repeater. So these are the options that is available and let's check the current uh, firmware that is uh, 1.0.16. Now let's go and check the uh, speed of the internet. So the download speed is 442 Mbps and the upload speed is 110 Mbps. My ISP, the internet speed is very variable so I'll conduct more tests and I'll show you the report. So these are the additional speed tests that I have performed to compare the Redmi AX5 and the AX1800 router. Even though the speeds vary a lot, the, I don't think there is a much difference between these two routers. In, in the performance so now what I have to do is I have to find out whether this uh, router supports the Wi-Fi mesh technology with the current firmware so let's go and check so in order to do that I have to go to the web interface because the app the English app is not uh, updated so we cannot access the mesh functionality in the app so I have to go to the web interface so let's go to the web interface so in order to go to the web interface go to miwifi.com so it is in Chinese, you can translate if you want. So it says welcome to Redmi router and uh, we can enter the password. So now the password is entered and I don't see any option for the mesh networking system right now because in the AX1800 there was an option here. So these are all the options that we have. I don't see any mesh networking feature right now and this is the latest update. So I don't see much difference between the Redmi AX5 and the uh, Xiaomi AX1800 router. Maybe there is some difference in the coverage because Redmi AX5 has uh, external antennas as you can see, four external antennas whereas the AX1800 router uh, even though it, it looks very compact, uh, it has uh, internal antennas but since uh, the external antennas may perform better, I'll do a test of uh, what the coverage of the Redmi AX5 and the Xiaomi AX1800 routers. This is the range test and the comparison of the routers at different locations of my house. As you can see both of the routers are performing comparable to each other. Uh, so this was the unboxing and review of the Redmi AX5. I think this router is almost identical to the AX1800 from Xiaomi and the price of the Redmi AX5 is uh, lesser than the AX1800 router. Uh, because uh, it doesn't include some accessories like the LAN cable etc but the internal features and the all the specifications are very similar only the form factor is very different the coverage also is uh, very similar between the AX5 and the AX1800 router but the mesh networking feature is not available right now it will be available before July 15 2020 let's wait for the update and once I get the update I'll do a mesh networking between the AX1800 and the uh, Redmi AX5 and so that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.